Greetings from Costa Rica. It's February 24th and today I wanted to provide a very quick update on a few subjects. I'll go over conditions in the real estate market. Next I'll touch on what's happening with COVID and restrictions in general here in Costa Rica. And finally, I'll go over a little bit about the dry season this time of year and the pros and cons of being here in Guanacaste in February. Stay tuned. Greetings from Costa Rica. I hope you and your family are well. My name is Matt Rosenstiel, broadcasting live here from Guanacaste, Costa Rica. Thank you very much for watching today. I just wanted to give a quick update on several topics here in the country as we conclude February 2021 and move into March. If you have any questions, send me an email to matt at cbtamarindo.com. And if you like straightforward information about Costa Rica, please do be sure to subscribe to my channel. Anyhow, first of all, as of February 24th, 2021, let's talk about the real estate market, especially here in Guanacaste, the northwestern part of Costa Rica. Well, if you've watched my previous updates, I don't have much to say that's different than the last two months, and that is, especially in certain areas, our real estate market is extremely hot we have started seeing properties and locations like Tamarindo, Potrero, Flamingo literally fly off the shelves within less than a week of listing. Some of them are pulling in full asking price plus closing costs in some, in some situations, which is typically unusual for our market. There simply now isn't enough inventory in those absolutely prime locations to meet the demand of people who are rapidly looking for next year's plan uh, and very much investing because they're anxious to get out of their home country. So we've continued to see this momentum build up in the market. Like I mentioned, Potrero, Flamingo, Tamarindo, tourism hubs, places with good schools, private options for American and Canadian and European families are quickly selling out of existing inventory and people are starting to really fight for the available options within those locations. I'm happy to report that even in our quiet community there's been some movement. A couple of listings I've had on the market for longer than I care to uh, discuss are also under contract and you're seeing a lot of people in the area who are here with the purpose of relocating to Costa Rica. Second of all, let's talk in general about COVID, the country in general, and news about the restrictions in place. Costa Rica, I'm happy to report, has seen good success, just like the US is currently seeing declining numbers of cases that are reported every day, uh, new patients found with COVID here in the country. Whereas we had absolutely peaked with the infection rate and the number of new cases probably three to four months ago. Uh, at that point, we were seeing 1,200 to 1,600 cases per day. At the moment, the Costa Rica government is doing more testing than ever, and they're reporting about 400 new cases per day. I'm not here to comment on any of the validity of the figures, et cetera, or make any statement. I just wanna say that they're seeing declining numbers. The hospitalization numbers are also going down. And in general, the infection is being, or the infection rate is being uh, declining with time. Uh, the restrictions within the, com within the country are slowly being relaxed. Uh, during the week, driving restrictions have become easier, and you're seeing, in general, a lot more businesses uh, start to reopen now that there's better tourism and uh, demand for their services in general. So a lot of people have been contacting me about what it's like to be here right now. You know, if you want to visit, you'll still need an insurance policy that's been discussed for thousands of hours on various channels. Uh, you will need to fill out a health form. And if you're going back to the U.S., obviously you'll need a, a, a test to get back into the U.S. But here in Costa Rica, you can count on virtually any community you visit having some restaurants open, 
Uh, you'll have access to the amenities that you want, obviously on a little bit more limited scale than in a normal economy. But um, aside from being obligated to wear a mask into any public uh, space, rather any enclosed uh, place where, you know, supermarkets on and on, really life feels somewhat normal here, or at least that we're resuming normality now as tourism resumes. Finally, I wanted to touch on the dry season here. We're in February in Guanacaste. This is a time of year when we get zero rain from December until somewhere in April, most often. We actually had a lucky rain shower at the very end of 2020, but we haven't had any rain in January or February, and we're waiting for those first showers to come back in April. There are some pros and cons to this time of year. For a lot of Americans and Canadians, obviously, this kind of weather is exactly the antidote that they need to the winter conditions. We have at least 85, if not 90 degrees Fahrenheit almost every day, endless sunshine, breezes, and really some weather conditions that are perfect for what you imagine as the sunny tropics. The drawback, honestly, that lack of moisture does create a browner landscape. There's dust, there's, uh, you know, our forest is deciduous, so you do see a lot of places where the forest is now more bare than you would expect in Costa Rica. But again, the breezes, the sunshine, this sort of California summer weather conditions really attract a lot of people, and we'll be guaranteed that We'll have low humidity and these conditions here until April, making it ideal for planning a vacation and being 100% sure you won't have any rain or even humid conditions. Another amazing advantage of this time of year, Guanacaste is filled with gorgeous flowering trees. Behind me a bit you can see the Cortez uh, Negro, a purple flowering tree that um, is actually going off for the second time this year. We'll be watching the monkeys eat these flowers from up here on our terrace, but around the countryside, you're seeing these incredible bursts of yellow, white, purple, pink, and really it's pretty amazing to see all kinds of these colorful bursts throughout the hillside, uh, just like really illuminating the landscape. Anyhow, that's my February 24 update 2021. Do be sure to subscribe. I'll put a little logo here. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.